It is very exciting to be able to say we are back to growth. We started this momentum late last year and uh, Q1 was a very good quarter for us as a company. Q2 was an outstanding quarter. We grew by 19% in the quarter, 17% year to date. Our oncology franchise in particular grew by 58% to $4 billion for the first half. China grew by 35%. Japan grew by more than 30%. Our biopharmaceuticals division, which is essentially our cardiovascular metabolism uh, franchise and our respiratory franchise, also grew by a double digit. We now have five products that can be uh, blockbusters by the end of this year. Three in oncology, Tagriso for lung cancer, Infinzi and, and Nimparza and two in biopharmaceuticals, Brelinta and Farsiga. So all across the entire portfolio and across the world, we are delivering outstanding results. In the near to midterm, we'll continue working on delivering this pipeline to patients. We have a very rich late stage pipeline and we are now fast tracking some of those very promising new products into phase three development. Over the long term, the way to succeed for us is very simple. It is to continue driving great science and making sure we are one of the companies that will shape the future of medicine by being a leader in new technologies. We will also become even more patient-centric, understand what the patient needs are and how do we bring our products to patients and how do we engage with payers to come up with innovative ways to price our products. And importantly also, we want to be a great corporate citizen. We'll continue driving our efforts in sustainability. We're making a lot of progress in, in reducing our carbon footprint. The people at AstraZeneca, I think what defines them all is the passion they bring to their work every day, the passion they have um, to come up with these innovative medicines that will help patients. Patients need the work we do and they need the medicines we are bringing to them.